Right, guys, welcome back. I just actually asked Hampshire Police to give my car back for my niece and nephew's toys. And they are not, they are not willing to do that. A 10-week, a PC dickhead is keeping my car for 10 weeks. It's PC dickhead for real. PC dickhead has got no evidence on me because why would PC dickhead and PC wanker and PC bitchface who I just spoke to keep my car for 10 weeks? Why would they keep it that long? Because PC Dickhead and PC Wanker, and I told the, the police lady earlier to watch, tell PC Dickhead to watch my YouTube video. She said, we don't have an officer called PC Dickhead. And I said, well, obviously, yet yeah, you do have an officer called PC Dickhead, because I caught him last night parking in a taxi bay only. PC Dickhead, yeah, PC Dickhead. It's got my car, and PC Dickhead's keeping it for 10 weeks. Well, just to let you know, everyone, I will be getting a new car today. So, therefore, PC Dickhead and PC Wenger will, be, will then be able to see me on um, YouTube when I get my new car. I'm just going to start off with a little KA like I had before. So, PC Dickhead and PC Wenger, if you're watching, I will be driving around in a KA. So, therefore... <laughs> If you stop me, PC dickhead, and PC wanker, you'll have to fucking have a good enough reason. The police force are fake. That's what they are. They're not real people. Like they're just fake cartoons. That's what they are. Cartoon police. That's what they are. <laughs> Cartoon police. I phoned up the um, Hampshire Constabulary, and I said... Is this cartoon, please, or is it real, please? <laughs> and she said, this is the real, please. Right, if you're real, please, I want my car back. So that means PC Dickhead. PC Wanker's keeping my car for 10 weeks. Which allows me, it, it doesn't allow me to have access to my family now. So they're taking my family away. Which PC Dickhead and PC Wanker is so fucking bored, they take my family away by taking my car. So they haven't only took my car, they've also took my family away. That's not fucking nice, isn't it? Ten weeks. I didn't realise it takes ten weeks for forensics team to go in there. Where are they travelling from? New York? Huh? Well, I've got a question about PC Dickhead. I've got a question, a serious question to ask PC Dickhead. Right, PC Dickhead, if you are actually listening to my videos, PC Dickhead, which no doubt you will be, I've got some very good news to tell you. I hope when you're next on duty chasing um, car thieves, I hope they fucking ram you, clean off the road, PC dickhead, yeah, then you go into a tree, yeah, PC dickhead, then you end, end up taking your own life for a fucking stolen car or whatever, PC dickhead. I hope you end up crashing into a tree, mate, because I don't like the police, PC dickhead. I've never liked the police, PC dickhead. If I had any trouble on the streets, PC Dickhead, I'll take the law into my own hands, PC Dickhead. The reason why, PC Dickhead, is because the police force do not do nothing about anything. They only come round and arrest people like myself and my family members, which took what, like... This is how it is, PC Dickhead, right? If you're listening very carefully, it took PC Dickhead, PC Wanker, to close the road off, yeah? Then PC Dickhead and then PC Wanker then called back up and turned up with guns. How bad is that for a member of my family? They turned up with guns. They rocked up with guns. Yeah, the police hit people. They beat people up. That police are actually bad. Honestly, guys, you actually don't understand unless you've actually dealt with it. The police are actually bad. And when they get you into your cell... They turn the camera off. You've got cameras in the cells now. They turn them off and then they beat you up. That's what the police do. That's what, that is what they do. No, honestly, that is what they do, man. They beat you up. What they do so they don't really bruise you as much, they put a, um, your mattress on top of you and then they start beating the shit out of you with their truncheons. 
PC Dickhead and PC Wanker, that's what they do. So, PC Dickhead and PC Wanker, I want my car back before 10 weeks. Because I have family to go and see. Maybe you don't have family. Maybe it's because you got bullied when you was at school, PC Dickhead. So, PC Dickhead, you got bullied at school. So, therefore, you're now being a bully to the public, which you work for, yeah? You work for me, yeah? You're a public servant, and you work for me and the public. So everyone out there, the police work for you. They do. And I will keep on with this video, because I know the police are watching my YouTube videos, and I would like the PC dickhead to actually understand it's not very on to take someone's belongings, especially their car, transport to go and see family. Now, I missed out on a lovely roast dinner this Sunday because PC Dickhead and PC Wanker took my car. So I've actually lost out on a fucking beautiful roast dinner. Because <laughs> PC Dickhead and PC Wanker took that away from me. It's just like taking your Christmas presents away, isn't it? Do you want me to have a look? Maybe PC Dickhead and PC Wanker's at the fucking door. No, no, no. So no. No. No PC Dickheads around here, mate. Maybe PC Dickhead and PC Wanker's got a shit job. Anyway, guys, I'll let you go. And any of you out there that deals with PC Dickhead and PC Wanker, I advise you to go no comment. And I advise you not to say anything to them when they turn up at your address. Because PC Dickhead and PC Wanker tends to twist the story. And backfires on you. As a victim. Yeah, that's what it does. It turns back on you. That's what they do. That's, that's how they do it. They twist it. They turn it around. And they can even shit down lie about you when you didn't fucking say anything to them. They even do that as well. Don't you piece of dickhead. All right, guys. See you in a bit. Bye for now. Catch you on the next video with PC Dickhead. See you in a bit.